Due to the presence of COVID-19, Governor Polis issued an executive order ordering Coloradans to stay at home on Wednesday. The order took effect before dawn at 6 a.m. We sent Carrie x 5s Rob Hagan out into the empty streets of Grand Junction to find out the local reaction. Colorado is now the next state to issue a mandatory stay-at-home order, which means it's now Colorado law. And I went to the streets to get the reaction from the experts, your neighbors. I think it's a good idea. That's exactly what I'm doing. My wife has a terminal illness, and I just, I'm a caregiver for her, and we have grandkids and stuff. Everybody stay at home. I just go out and get groceries, and that's it. And that's exactly what the stay-at-home order dictates, and why. Travel for work or travel for needs because it saves lives. This virus is definitely growing. It's a growing concern, so I think it's best for us to kind of stay home and let it play out, even if it's annoying and even if it's maybe even scary. Colorado is now under temporary stay at home orders for the state's nearly six million residents. Now, most of the city's deserted, with the exception of the new social hotspot. Your local grocer. I think people just kind of getting a little stir crazy and just wanting to even see other people and maybe not their same four walls and, and dogs and cats. They want to get out. The stay at home order will last until Saturday, April 11th, but that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors the entire time. After all, necessity is the mother of invention. Keep at it, figure out ways to do something else, you know, try to go out on trails or something maybe, you know, where there ain't so many people and not worry about it. Getting out in nature and really remembering that it's not so dire, you know, it's it's not, we're not a third world country, we're not, you know, we're not being invaded, it's just we got to stay home for a bit. First on the western slope, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News.